So now we have keyframed a walk cycle, but how can we use that with a background? The best way to do this is with nested compositions. Here I have the same After Effects file, but now I have multiple compositions. Here is the green person composition that I had before. If I press play, it plays just as before. I can switch tabs to street scene. The only thing I have done is create a 1080p composition and put in a JPEG from the Smithsonian Open Access. If you have not used the Smithsonian Open Access, it is a great resource for public domain images that you can use however you want. Now, I want to bring the green person composition into the street scene. I can press play and it walks fine. The advantage of this is that I can put position keyframes on the green person. At the beginning, if I keyframe a position, move the character, move forward four seconds, then move the character again, I can see the character walk. The problem is, if I want to change any aspect of the character, I have to go to the character level and adjust the keyframes here. It'd be great if there was a better way. Well, there is with Duik. Go back to Street Scene, highlight the green person composition, then in the Duik panel, click the hand for Create Controllers, then click Extract. Duik brings all of the controllers to this composition. They still control the previous composition, but now we can control things here. If I click on Walk Cycle and press U, I see all the same keyframes. I can drag them, move them however I want, and it affects the animation in this frame. I can even see the effects controls of the animation and change things here. If I want to suddenly change the body swing or body up in motion to be a lot, I can do it from this composition instantly. This is immensely convenient. Then we still have main control of position and scale of the entire rig. Press P Shift S. At the beginning, drop a keyframe for scale. We'll move the character a little bit more to the side. Perhaps there. Then at the end, we'll scale down the character and have the character go all the way off the screen. Move these handles to add a little curve to the walk. It is very easy to add extra characters to a background. We can even zoom in on the background to add more motion. Now we have an animated scene ready for export.